it's taking me just a minute here. Uh, so that's everything we just said just now. Um, and I'll try, I'll try and type it out as uh, Justin and Sydney do theirs as close as I can, uh, whichever you want to start. Can you Justin? It's in the lap room. Labusha. Labusha. It's it's Hema Labu. Hon Lapu Tika Tika. Try to keep up. All right. So we see two dialogues there. So the first is me talking to Justin. Um, and the second is, um, let's see, is Sydney talking to Justin. Um, so the first thing I wanna ask is, Alexander, can you type in the chat for me what kind of conversation you think we're having? Um, is there something uh, in particular that um, you think we're talking about? Are we, just checking in with each other? Are we talking about a football game? Uh, what guesses do you have as to what might be going on? And it's okay to not get it quite right. We're just trying to figure out uh, where folks are at. Engage others to the good yeah. view of the function. Perfect. Ko'o. Lapu. Yeah, we're greeting each other. So with that in mind, um, if I walked up to you and said, Henny, Alexander, how do you think you would respond? You can take a look at the dialogue written above. Awesome. Ko'o. Um, and Rourke, uh, am I saying your name right? You can write home if I am, or aha if I'm messing it up. If it's aha, please tell me how to say it properly. All right, tikach. So there's another, so Henny is what we said at the beginning of that conversation, right? Uh, and at the end, I said, Hita Justin, and Justin said, Hita Meg. Um, what do you think Hita means? You can write that in English, uh, Ingras Kichu. Uh, sorry, and that's uh, that question was for you, Rourke. If you could uh, write what you think, um, I'm saying when I say Hita Justin, or what Justin's saying when he says Hita Meg, uh, what do you think uh, is happening there? Hmm. All right, um, let's see. Alexis, uh, yeah, exactly. We're just saying, take care, see you. Perfect. So those two parts, uh, and I'll write them for us here, where we have Henny saying, hello, more or less. And we have Hita saying, take care, goodbye. 
Um, I think those two, uh, pretty straightforward and they're super useful and we're gonna use them basically every class. Um, but we've got a lot of other stuff in between here, right? Um, so I wanna go back and uh, I am going to ask Justin another question. You can scroll up in the chat so you can see the dialogue here. I am going to say to Justin, Etima Lapu, and how did you respond, Justin? First, I said uh, Lapu. When you and I, when you and I were talking, I said mm -hmm. Lapu. Oh, huh. yeah. Justin said Lapu. Um, then I yeah, uh, and in that particular instance, he was just saying. Um, he was, uh, let's see. So I've said Lapu a couple of times now. Um, Alexis, can you tell us what Lapu means? Um, Alexis, uh, Alexis, are you there or here? All right, I don't think Alexis is here right now, um, although we do now. Yeah, have... I am here. It's just that it keeps cutting out for me. Oh, I'm sorry. It's OK. OK, well, um, if you have questions, feel free to type them in the chat, and I'll check in with you periodically. But no worries if you can't respond. OK, thank you. Let's see. Um, hmm. Would this be easier to do on the whiteboard? Let's see. Uh, all right. So I actually just used a word that is in our dialogue, tikach. Um, does anyone have a guess of what tikach means? Um, we've used it a couple of times here. It's a super useful word. Um, I said it uh, just now, for example, um, when uh, Alexis answered my question. Um, I said it when, uh, let's see, I think someone helped me out and I said, Tikach. Awesome work, excellent work. Yeah, it means thank you. It's what you say when someone uh, does you a favor or asks you a question. So we've got, let's see, now we've already found three of our uh, words on here. Um, do y'all reckon I should be typing this up on the whiteboard instead or something? Or is this okay? This is primarily for the teachers as a question. I don't see why not, if it won't interfere with Yeah, you can, so, so they could see the word. And, yeah, I think that would be easier. I will share screen whiteboard. All right, so we're going to make a little whiteboard list with um, the dialogues we just did, and we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna talk about like what we learned from them and see if we can't figure out what exactly is being said. You guys are already doing a fantastic job of looking at how we acted it out and figuring out what we were saying. So I'm gonna write up here, Yana. And then I'm going to write, we already uh, decided what Henny means. Can someone type in the chat for me again what Henny means? Right. Sorry, I actually think it's not possible for me to see the chat. Oh, go ahead. Got Thank you. Read it to you. So we have a response from Rourke. Uh, Thank you. Let's see, that was for when I asked about Tikash, I believe. Right. Chat, ah, I figured out how to open the chat. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Lapu. Uh, all right, so Henny, if you'll look in our chat, just means hello. You're just greeting someone. 
And actually, um, the name of this section is Taheni, the greetings. Yes, you can actually draw on this. Um, So we also learned another word that, uh, let's see, uh, that work identified for us just a second ago, which was Tikach. Um, sorry, one minute. And tikash, as you can see from before, means thank you. Um, then we learned one more, which was hita, just saying take care. Actually, I think. Um, would, uh, Justin, would you like to walk them through some of the other words while I type this over here? Um, I, I type the dialogues over here so they can actually see it. So <clears throat> I'd like it if we could respond by typing or we could do it vocally as well. Doesn't matter to me. So when we're saying lapu, as in um, eti hema or eti ma lapu, what are we what are we getting at with that? What are we saying when we say eti ma lapu? You might remember lapu from. Uh us also responding to some of the stuff y'all have said. Like when you get something right, we're often like lapu ko'o. Um, so that might give you a bit of a clue about what lapu means. Just throw a guess out there. Oh, lapu. So lapu means good. So when somebody is responding or when someone is saying eti ma lapu, ma signifies that you're talking to a, a male in second person. Are you good, my friend? So now when I said to, well, when I responded from Sydney, when she said eti ma lapu, I responded, mm, Labusha. So could we type in the chat what would Labusha mean? So if Lapu is good, Labusha. That's a good guess. Great guess. Great guess. So I'll go ahead and say that Labusha means. Mm, kind of good. It means so-so. Just to throw some variation in there because you're not going to be lapu all the time. Sometimes you're going to be yeah, lapu sha. And by the way, uh, teachers, y'all can also type on the whiteboard, I believe. Uh, so if you wanted to add uh, in the Yoluyana while we do this, uh, while I type this, uh, please feel free. Although I can never be added. So you need to, because it looks like I'm almost set a room. Let's do this. Yeah. So yeah, let's just focus on this dialogue first. So. There are a couple of words now that we've already figured out. And I'm gonna highlight the, I hope this is gonna be a highlight. I'm gonna highlight the ones, now it's a spotlight, okay. I'm gonna underline the ones that we've identified. Uh, so we've got Henny 
and Kenny. We've got Lapu. We've got this little extra in. We don't know what it is yet. We've got Lapu again. Lapu again. We've got Tikach. Thank you. We've got Tikach again. We've got Kita and Kita. So that doesn't leave us a lot of words to figure out. We've already got most of this dialogue. Um, so that just leaves us what? Um, can someone type in the chat for me? And you can use a three instead of that um, kind of strange letter. Uh, which words we still need to figure out? Um, you can even pick just one word. It's anything that's not underlined or circled in purple right now. Although I guess we don't probably need to define Justin and Meg, so I'll underline those two. Let's see. Um, Alexander, can you please give me one word we don't know yet? Okay. Work stepped away for a sec. So that's one word or part of a word that's not underlined uh, in purple or circled in purple. I was not consistent about underlining versus circling. Awesome. Yeah, we've got eti and ma there. Uh, and that's all part of a big sentence, etima lapum. Well, we know lapu means good, um, but I have a quick question for you. What kind of sentence is etima lapum? Is it a statement? Is it a question? Is it an exclamation? Uh, can you tell me, can someone tell me what type of sentence etima lapun is? Yeah. Just write in the chat whether it's a sentence, or sorry, whether it's a statement or a question. Yeah. So this is a question and we know that because the question mark at the end of it, but we also know it because of this little in right here. You put an in on the end of a statement in Tunica to turn it into a question that can be answered with yes or no. So, um, oh, awesome, thank you. Um, how to delete that? There we go. Um, so for example, here, Justin, or I'm asking Justin, are you doing well, my friend? Uh, because eti here means my friend, like Justin's pointed out. Lapu means good, as y'all figured out. And then um, ma is for talking to Justin. It's for saying you when I'm talking to Justin. But I wanna show y'all something really quick, uh, really neat here just for a sec. So, um, Justin, eti malapu? Lapu. Ema? Lapu, tikash. So when I was talking to Justin, I said eti malapu. But now I'm going to ask Sydney the same thing. Sydney, um, eti hema lapu? Lapu, hema? I'm mean, home. Yeah. Home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, home, to catch. Um, so, did y'all notice something different when I asked Justin how he was versus when I asked uh, Sydney how she was? Sorry.
let's see. Make it in here. So I just added that here at the bottom. So let's compare when I asked Justin up here and I'll use my little spotlight. I asked Justin up here at Timalapu to when I asked Sydney down here at Timalapu, what word looks different? Uh, just write for me in the chat, which of the words looks different? And you could pick the word from uh, either sentence. So looking at it, oh my gosh, I cannot switch. Awesome. Yeah, part of it is that you're noticing that we have Hema there, right? So um, we have, oh my gosh, why will this not switch me off of, here we go. We have Ma up here, but Hema down there. That's because as Justin pointed out, um, well, actually, let's think on it for a second. Let's say Ma and Hema both mean you, but they change depending on one particular part of who you're talking to, or like one particular aspect of that person. Uh, why do we think I said eti ma lapun to Justin, but I said eti hema lapun to Sydney? Uh, and you know what, for comparison, I'm also going to say, uh, I think Alexis had to drop, but let's say, um, you only have to answer home or aha to this Rourke, but Rourke, um, see, actually, I don't know everyone's gender. I just realized. Um, see, um, Alexander, uh, eti malapu, you can just answer home, or aha, depending on if you're feeling good or bad. You can put that in the chat. Awesome, good to hear. And which of these did I use to ask Alexander? Uh, did I use eti ma lapu or did I use eti hema lapu? You can just write ma or hema in the chat. If you wanna write hema, you can just use a three to replace it like that. Um, Cause I know it's hard to get that fancy uh, symbol. Yeah, so you use uh, Ma, like I did with Justin, to talk to a guy, and Hema, like I did with Sydney, to talk to a girl. I assumed, based off of names, since there are, I haven't heard anyone speak and don't see anything, uh, that uh, I should use Ma for boys with Alexander, but I realized that that might not be correct, but that's the hole I dug for myself as I was starting to guess by people's names. So Ma, if uh, as Justin already added here, is what you say when you're talking to a guy, when you're saying you talking to one guy. Yeah, ma, I used ma. Um, and then hema is what you say when you're talking to one uh, girl. Uh, and I'll add that on our Yoluyana here in a second. But I think what we're gonna do is I wanna check in, that's a really good guess work, but what's actually happening here is when I when uh, everyone said hemat to me, that's because they were saying, and how are you to a girl? Because the whole translation here is, hello, Justin. Justin says, hello, Meg. 
I say, how are you doing? Or are you well, my friend? And Justin says, good, I'm good, thank you. And then when he says hemat, he takes the word hema, which is you for a girl. And I'll try to add that here in a second, but unfortunately I'm typing a lot. Uh, what is she? Girl. And he adds it to this little other part of the word, at, which means like, and yourself. You know, when someone says, hey, how you doing? And then if you're feeling kind of fancy, you say, I'm doing good in yourself. That's basically what uh, Justin said to me. So that whole sentence there is Justin saying, good. Thank you. How are you to a woman? Now, we didn't have a chance to model this, but if Justin, uh, if we were asking Justin how he was, we would have said mahat. And you can see those look pretty similar, right? Both of them end in that ot. That's because that ot is what makes it and, and you type of thing to say. Uh, so first off, I wanna apologize that today's lesson uh, was a little messy. Um, we planned for one thing and then had uh, pivoted. So what I wanna do is I'm going to send all y'all all the vocabulary we typed up here. I'm gonna send you a translation of the dialogues and then a little bit from our textbook. So you have a chance to look over this. But I also want to ask, um, just sort of get a sense of, um, let's see. Uh, uh, just to get a sense of like, uh, sort of what y'all's experience is right now. Because um, I think we have kind of a division of how much people have uh, been able to come see. So first off, if you're a little lost with this dialogue, that's totally okay. And it's on me personally. I apologize for that. And I'm going to send you everything you'll need to read to be able to catch up. And then I want to be able to talk to y'all to figure out um, sort of what y'all know so far. Let me save this so I don't accidentally. I'll stop my screen share. Um, does that sound okay, Sydney and Justin? Just check in with uh, everyone and uh, hear what they've learned previously. Yeah. 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 Uh, so can y'all tell me in the chat whether this is your first Tunica class? Uh, and if it's not, uh, can you let us know um, what other chances you've had to learn Tunica? It's your first, okay. your first as well. Um, the point yeah. of this whole thing was to sort of catch up our first time joiners mm -hmm. instead of going on to something that would be more comp well that would be more advanced so that we could all be on the same page. And Shane, Rourke, and Alexander, do y'all have access? Do y'all know where to find our old um, classes? Um, and do you have any of our old resources? I just want to make sure that uh, y'all were on the email list at the time. Now it works. I think what we're going to do is that we're going to email y'all three with um, a video to watch for, um, do y'all reckon next week? Um, awesome, yeah. Okay, Rourke, yeah, then we'll, we'll uh, catch you up with um, some stuff there. Thank And thank you for being so communicative in the chat, uh, everybody. Okay, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to send y'all, do y'all reckon just sending the uh, stuff on verbs um, and then all the old resources, like we'll send all the old resources and then recommend folks watch um, the most recent class and that should get them in a position to catch up. Yeah. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah. So I think that y'all will be able to catch up with the rest of the class. Uh, we're gonna send you a resource email. It's just gonna ask you to watch one of our classes uh, and we're gonna send you uh, all the resources we made for that class as well. And you can email us with any questions you have um, and we'll help you and we're gonna take Next class, uh, we're going to talk about how to make sentences with verbs, uh, which is a little challenging, but uh, I think we'll be able to all get there. We're just going to take our time. Um, and then when you have time, it would be awesome if you could go back to the older classes as well, 
Um, but I understand that that's a lot of material to review. Um, so uh, I think we're just gonna focus on the classroom November 17th. So I'm gonna send you all that follow-up email along with uh, a couple of pages from the textbook that should help get you ready for that. And then next class, we're gonna talk about what we were gonna do this class, which is how to talk about two people doing something. So uh, one thing we identified today is that in Tunica, it matters about the gender of the person or thing you're speaking to uh, or uh, speaking about. Um, and that's gonna be important, but otherwise I think uh, just to keep up, all you will super need is uh, the November 17th class. So I'll hand that to you. And thank you and welcome to uh, the new Tunica class. We're really excited to have uh, new members. The other thing I wanna recommend that we'll send around is there's gonna be an immersion class uh, at the end of December. It's gonna give, uh, that's like aimed at like 11 through 16. So a similar age range to this class. It'll give you a chance to just in a couple of hours online, really get caught up with uh, some of what we've discussed here. And I think it'll help out a lot. Um, is there anything you guys wanna add Justin and Sydney? I'm just saying that I'll uh, send that follow-up email. So how about we put the, uh, the link for the Kahoot game and we could sort of see where their Tunica brain gears are for that. So Sydney, I'm going to need you to post your link because mine was a little bit advanced. You know, it was a little, it was a step ahead, so. What was that? Go ahead and put link. the Kahoot link. Yeah, okay. Just go to Kahoot. That's it. I'm going to bring it. Kahootwriteit.com. And I'm going to give y'all, hold on. Okay, I'm going to give y'all the pen and then I'm going to screen share. Okay. Has anyone not done a Kahoot before? If so, uh, let us know. Yeah. yeah, if you need help. Uh, and then we can help you set it up. It doesn't take long. Yeah, you might want to do it on a different device, maybe. Yeah. Because I don't know the questions on here. Yeah, Sydney's gonna screen share. It's gonna show you a bunch of different questions about what we just learned. No stress if um, you don't quite know it, it's just a chance to familiarize yourself with it. So Sydney's gonna share that, but in order to answer it, you need to either go to an app on your phone called Kahoot, or you can go to that link that Sydney sent us, kahoot.it.com or .it. Um, and then that'll bring you to a place where you can answer the questions. Actually, don't put the dot .com because I just tried. It sent me to an error. Oh, oops. It's just kahoot.it. OK, um, it's not letting me share the screen. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, oh, wait, am I a secret host now? If so, I can give you hosting powers. Uh, sorry, it'll go over just a little bit today. Uh, doesn't look like I can, I'm not really a host, so it doesn't look like I can give you screen sharing ability. It's not letting you. I've made a uh, send to the co-host. Oh, cool. So okay. let's see if she, see if you can share now. No, hold on. I got some, it's asking me to allow a block. Let me try to allow it and try again. Nope. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay. It's allowing me to share a Chrome tab. Can you share the Chrome tab that has Kahoot running in it? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if, because there's two, maybe I just have to. Okay, I can, I can exit one out. Okay, let me try this. Good. Okay. Sure. Okay, can y'all see this? Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, hold on, I gotta go back. Okay. Okay, so we have two people. Who's up? Okay, so we're waiting for Shane and Alexis. Did Rourke ever come back? Did Rourke make me? Yeah, he's been here back. Okay, just cool. let us know in the chat if you uh, need any instructions on how to get on Kahoot. It should work, but sometimes there's. I'm real tempted to join the game. Resist, <laughs> live through the person with the same name as you. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four. I'm trying to see who's on here. Yeah. <laughs> so, one, two. Oh, okay. So, we have six people here. Okay, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. So. Yeah. Might need to go ahead and get started in maybe a minute just because we're so close to the end of class. Okay, we have four going on. All right, so we're going to start. Okay. Two, one. Okay, fill in the blank. Chris Koo, Henny, Etty, Blank, Lapoon. Three answers. Wait for one more. Okay. So correct. The correct answer was hey ma. One person chose Hamy. But that's that's okay. Now you know. Okay. Oh wow. You just I just okay. Okay, Sophia, she is speaking and she says home, Lapu, blank. Um. Okay, the correct answer was Mahat, because she's She's speaking to a male and she's asking, she says home, which means yes. And she says she is good. And then he she asks him, like, what about you? That's okay, that's okay. True or false? Lapu means good. And remember, whole is yes, so true, and aha is uh, no, so false. Okay. All right. So the correct answer was yes, Lapu does mean good. Okay. Let's see. If Lapu means good, what does Lap Aha mean? Lapu and Aha. Good job, y'all all got it right. It means not good. Lapu. Lapu Panu. All right, question number five. How would you say take care or goodbye in Tunica? We say it every time we finish um, talking to each other. Hita, yes. Don't Hita skip means the scoreboard goodbye. this time because I think the next class is about to start. Okay. So we can just and see our scoreboard. Any means. Okay. Cool. 
Eti means you. True or false? Okay, one person got it right. Eti means friend. Okay. And last question, what does it, oh, well, I just gave that away. Oh, man. Good job, everyone got, well, one person got it wrong. It doesn't mean dog, but it does mean friend. Okay, third place with Shane. Second place with Alexander. And first place was Justin with an I. My good twin. <laughs> okay, now I need to stop share. Okay, I think I'm not sharing anymore. It's done, everyone. We need to go so the next class can start. But uh, Kita, and I'll be in touch with those of you who are new to give you resources. Kita. Kita.